Hey guys, my name is Carson Cuevisto. I'm a product manager here at Gerber Gear. And I'm here to show you uh, all of our new knives and even a little crazy cutting tool for you as well. So I'll get you started. Uh, the newest uh, cutting tool we're gonna come out with is this double down here. And it is a brand new form factor, something we've never done before and something nobody's really done before in this, in this manner. So you see some similarities to butterfly or ballast song and how it opens, but it's actually not one of those because we have this geared system here. So the arms move together. It's very safe to do. Uh, we lock it up with the stability bar and then you get a very rigid frame. It's actually for striking. So you can use this section out here. It's gonna be what you're gonna naturally swing with because it's furthest away from your body. You're gonna get max impact. So that's for your machete chopping area. And then in a pinch, you choke up. And because you've been doing your chopping out here, this area is gonna keep a really fresh, good edge. You can use it for knife work in a pinch. It does a great job. And then uh, lastly, we have this jumping section here. And that's for when you fall down a, you fell a tree and you section it and you wanna break it down into kindling size. You set that on top of it. And then you pick up a stick and you hammer on it and that jimping section makes it so it actually grabs that energy and pushes it straight down and makes your splitting really effective so it's great for that so in a, in a way this is kind of a, a machete a knife and a hatchet so really cool versatile product we call it the double down because it basically doubles in size it goes from about eight and a half inches to about 16 inches it locks up real solid and small some people might even put it in a shirt pocket if you're feeling crazy i like it that way but yeah made in america really cool we've got a number of colors of it and uh it's called the Double Down. It comes with a sheath as well, which is Molly compatible or it can be worn on belt. So we'll keep it with the US made theme here. We'll go over to our principal fixed blade. So the principal was born out of a number of bushcraft schools we attended. And uh, we wanted to learn as much as we could from master teachers and go through all the classes. And what we learned is uh, a number of things that we required this product to have. And uh, I'll walk through those. So we have a 90 degree fire striking edge here. So it really digs into ferrocerium, does a great job with that. We've got a Scandinavian grind or a zero edge. It does a great job with finding that original angle, being able to sharpen it in the field if you need to, but it also has some real weight behind that cutting edge. So it's gonna be really durable. Uh, we have what we call triple grip ergonomics. We found that there are three main grips that people use in bushcraft, and that's your baseball grip, which is your traditional grip, precision grip, which is where you're gonna kind of do some really precise cutting work. And what we give you for that is this hollow rivet. It's a great locating piece, so you can get really good control over it. And then lastly, what we see people using a lot in bushcraft is called chest lever. So you ramp these, these handles down and you put your thumb right over that, and it makes it so you can really lever against whatever you're trying to cut. So triple grip ergonomics, really lightweight overall. And then uh, something we focus on a lot at Gerber is our sheath systems. So you have a click-in retention, and then you have uh, multiple attachments that you can use. So this will go horizontal on the belt. You can wear it under a pack or in the small of your back. And this will go vertical on a belt. And if you want, you can actually take those attachments off and then hook this straight to Molly, either right side up or inverted. So really great value on that knife. Made in the US, 60 bucks, great bushcrafting knife, general outdoor use as well. Um, another one of our new US made knives is uh, an extension of our fastball. So our fastball came out last year with a Warncliffe blade and S30B. This is our new fastball with a cleaver and it's got 20 CV. Uh, we also upgraded the backspacer on it to being a machined anodized aluminum rather than the glass filled nylon that's on our original version. And what you're gonna notice is you still get that really great light switching action. It opens really assertively every time. And uh, we have urban blue here with our high polish. And then we also have a coyote brown with a black oxide. Both 20 CV, both made in America, really great products. And uh, I think you're gonna love those. That's my daily carry, I love it. Um, so staying on that cleaver trend, we released the flat iron about two years ago and it's been a runaway success for us. And it comes currently in aluminum with 7CR or G10 with 7CR. Great value products, great value steel, um, but people were asking for an upgrade on that. So what we did is we upgraded both the handle steel or the handle material and the blade steel. So you get D2 instead of that 7CR and you're gonna get an urban blue micarta. And we also wanted to upgrade the, uh, the details on the back. So you get a PVD frame and then you get nice matching polishes here. So you got a polished clip, a polished pinch plate and a polished blade. So really nice detail on the new flat iron. Again, it's D2 and micarta rather than G10 and 7CR. Um, another one I like here is the Ayako. Ayako has a very Japanese name. It's Japanese inspired. You kind of get that Kwaiken look. And we have some unique stuff going on with this. So the old friction folders where you have that big tang out there in front, you can use that to open it. So it's kind of got that front flip going on. And then on those knives, you're gonna actually lock that blade open with your hand using that tang to hold it in the handle. But on our Ayako, you actually get a frame lock in there. So you get that cool opening, but then you get the safety of a frame lock. 
So you get that either in silver with a black ox <clears throat> black oxide blade, or you get it in green with a tit titanium nitride coating on the blade. So really cool, great value knife. Um, I, I love it. I think this is one of those really slim, nice daily carries. And uh, you can also actually open it with a kind of like a nail neck opening as well. So that's the Ayako. And then the Asada. So the Asada is born out of the request we were getting from our fastball and our flat iron. People were saying, man, I love that fastball. I wish you would give it a cleaver blade. So we did that. But we were also getting requests saying, man, I love that flat iron. I wish it was smaller or that it had a flipper. And so what we did is we put together a, a ball bearing system uh, for the, the Asada. And then you got D2 with micarta. So really nice blade steel, really nice handle material. And then you go to the pile side and you get nice PVD components matching, really popping in there. And you can see it's got a nice slim construction, got barrel construction there. And there's two levels of this product. So there's the D2 and micarta. And then you have two options for aluminum with 7CR. So really beautiful products. Team did a great job on those. Great everyday carry, carry knives as well. And I wanna show you on our hunting products too. So uh, I'll save these for last because they're my favorite, but uh, we'll start here. This is called the Exo Mod Series. Exo as in exoskeletal, it's a skeletonized knife series. And mod as in modular, because you can modularly take the sheaths apart and pick any products you might want to carry. So if you just wanted to have a caper and a drop point, or if you wanted to have a full-size drop point and a saw, whatever your kit required, you can kind of build that. So they're all gonna share the same basic characteristics, and that's gonna be full tank, single piece steel constru construction. And then you're gonna see this section in here, it was completely hollowed out. But because it's full tank, you keep that durability and then you add this, you get a lot more purchase on that when you're trying to work in the cavity or if you're using it for backpacking purposes. It adds almost no weight, but you get a lot more purchase, a lot more grip to it. You got some str strategically placed jimping, so you get really good control of the knife. So this is great for either hunting or just general outdoors backpacking use. Uh, you can see the sheath system here, very slender. It's gonna either slide straight into a slash pocket on a backpack or you can wear it on your hip if you'd like. Or if you're using it for hunting purposes, it can live in your kill kit. Um, show you also the caper. I think we did a great job with the blade shape on this. But again, you're gonna see that full tank construction, nice injection mold there for extra grip. And uh, this one has great jimping out here for that real precise work that you're gonna do with it. So that's the caper. And then we have pack saw. So full five inch pack saw there. Again, full tang, fully durable, real lightweight, real slender. It's not gonna really take much out of your pack or make you carry extra weight. So you got great combination of products there. Build your own kit, do with it as you need. And you just snap them together. Very basic, very easy to do. And then you have a full kit. So last but not least, uh, we worked with a a highly influential, highly successful hunter. Uh, we gave him a blank piece of paper. His name's Randy Newberg. He's, he's huge over here in the States and we love him. He's killed so many animals and cut so many animals up that he's just a real subject matter ac expert. And uh, so we just gave him a blank piece of paper and said, here are 50 knives. What do you love? What do you hate? What works well? What do you wish there was that you don't see in the market today? And three years later, we have these two products as the outcome. So I'll walk you through each of those. So the Randy Newberg EBS stands for Exchangeable Blade System. A couple things are gonna jump, at, jump out at you right off the bat. It's got a very unique way it mounts together. So real small footprint in that pack. Um, this handle actually clicks in there. So it stores on the back of the box. The box has this retro reflective tape and so does the handle. And that, the idea on that came from Randy had lost tons and tons of knives over the years. Because you shoot an animal at dusk and then by the time you're cleaning it, it's dark. You put, you put your knife down and it's very easy to lose it, even if it's bright orange, something like that. So retroreflective tape works because you have a headlamp on, that's how you're cutting your animal up and that's gonna shoot light right back to the source so it's gonna flash in your eyes, so really cool. So the handle weighs almost nothing, but it still has full tank steel construction in it. it has our split sec tech, so you can just easily remove blades and replace them. And I think it's important to bring up too, these aren't disposable blades like there are a lot in the market. Uh, these are multi-season, they're 440C, they've got great edge retention. Uh, one of Randy's many requirements was he wanted to be able to run through three or four elk before they got dull and needed resharpening. And he's ran through, what it was at five elk and two bears and something else, and they're still sharp. So they, great edge retention. But the real, the real gist of it is the philosophy. The philosophy is if you have a blade 
that's designed to take a beating and run into all those things that are gonna dull a blade in a typical context. That'd be hide or bone or fur or thick dorsal hide, some of, the, some of that kind of stuff. That's gonna dull your blade really quickly. So if you have a blade designed to take that beating, for this, this product it's called the, the breakdown blade. So you can just run that right over bone, right over tendons. It's gonna cut really well and it does, uh, does a great job keeping its own edge. But then when you come, come to cutting your meat, uh, we have two different blades specifically for cutting meat, and one of them is just your basic uh, tasking blade, so not a, not too long, easy to move around in the cavity. And the other one, it's clever. The, one of the most precious cuts of meat on an animal is the back strap. So this is called the back strap blade, and that's because you can dive that right into the back strap and make one single cut all the way down it and get a great slice out of that meat. So three task specific blades, one meant to take a beating, the other meant, two meant to cut through meat really precisely and really well. Lightweight frame here, and then those blades don't rattle in this box because we have this silicone uh, sine wave in here. So you pinch that down, no rattle at all. Really clever system. Packs up nice and small. So that's the EBS, and then Randy also has the DTS. So the color is gonna be the same. It's a little off right now, we'll get it fixed. But same philosophy here. If you have a blade designed to take a beating, this blade's made out of D2 steel. It's got real vicious serrations there, leading swedge, so you can really dive that into joints and take tendons apart very effectively, very quickly. And the philosophy stands that if that blade can take the beating, then your primary blade is gonna stay razor sharp, ready to go like it's fresh out of the box when it comes to cutting all your meat. So a couple other features on this one, you're gonna see retroreflective tape again, so easy to locate at dark. You're gonna see barrel construction, that's so that after you've processed an animal, it's really easy to clean it out, get the junk out of that knife. It runs on a pivot lock system, so really easy, ambidextrous operation. And you can feel it's just kind of built like a tank, but it's not too heavy, so you feel like really empowered when this is in your hand, like there's no problem you're gonna have with an animal. So that's a bunch of the products for 2020. Really excited about them. I think you're gonna love them. Go pick them up. Thanks for your time.